Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nor Muhammad from NM Watch and I'm back with the full review of this uh, Seiko Samurai SRP. No, no, that's not the right. <laughs> Sorry, SPB 99K1 or better known as the Seiko Samurai Paddy, a uh, prospect paddy, right? So, uh, special edition, right? So, uh, what's special about this particular piece? Of course, the association with this uh, PADI or Professional Association of Divers Instructors, right? So that is why they made it. Uh, I think they this is this is the few one of the few um, collaboration that Seiko have done with uh, Paddy, and it came with this special uh, colorway. So we have this uh, blue, uh, sorry, red and blue bezel. And we have those uh, red uh, hour markers on the chapter ring there, and and that beautiful uh, wave dial, right? So this one will cost you. I think you could still get it for around three hundred and fifty US dollars. And let's get a few dimensions with a few dimensions before we go further, right? So I think the dimension, sorry, the diameter for this particular watch is forty-four millimeters. So around there right so 44 millimeters in diameter and it looked to look of just about 48 millimeters like so and a thickness of just 13 millimeters so yep a typical of the um, of the dive watches in this category and uh, 22 millimeters in luck with and a crown size of seven millimeters so a nice damage set of dimensions for a dive watch but <laughs> which the dimensions that which, which makes it unbearable for me at least is the way um, as you can see here on this scale just the head watch head so it, it weigh at about 100 and 105 grams so yeah 100 and yeah 105 grams so but you if you put in the bracelet together it will <laughs> about 205 grams so that is very very heavy in my opinion yeah you know what i've i borrowed this watch from my buddy mr juan layton um he yeah thank you very much mr juan to see if there is a possibility that i could wear this uh, particular watch but yeah after checking it out for about one week or so so i think mm, you know the Seiko Samurai is not for me, right? So, but maybe it is for you, right? So, because maybe you have a bigger wrist and you just, or you just like big sets of dimension and a watch that has a huge presence on your wrist. So, maybe this is for you, but yeah, not for me. All right, so uh, let's check out a few other items such as the bezel, right? So, the bezel is quite unique because we have this, um, how to say this, gradial pattern. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to. I'll tell you guys. So normally you would have uh, a writing of 5, 10 and 15 around here but Seiko for this Samurai model they choose to have this type of printing and of course we have the sunken loom pip here and yeah this is unique only to um, only to the Seiko Samurai I think so other models from Seiko doesn't, doesn't really have this type of design and of course 20 minute markers, 30 minute markers, markers 40, 50 is also written at the other side of the bezel so in this case this is red and here is a uh, blue right so and the bezel itself it features this uh, null uh, finishing not your typical uh, coin ish bezel uh, style and the grip the grip is uh, i'm sorry to say guys it's not the best so even now i'm not using any glove whatsoever it's a bit slippery because this knurling is not really that grippy so i would have preferred if they are this if they used your the normal um coin edge bezel but yeah still it is what it is and fortunately the bezel lines up yeah <laughs> hey thank you very much all right so you're a lucky man mr one all right so that's the, about the bezel and you see that here the um somehow this bezel here it has a bit of chamfering on this side so it makes the uh, bezel insert itself look thin but the actual bezel is quite big right so yeah that's another design choice and we have that black dial that wavy pattern dial with that chapter ring which is very very um cool looking uh chapter ring there with that uh, red with that red red um rectangular on each of these uh, 12 3 and 6 and 9 minute markers um, uh, our markers and yeah it's it looks cool right because of that uh, red touch and the dial itself it features this uh, wavy dial with the Seiko Prospect uh, Party Automatic Divers 200 meters printed in white 
and the indices are applied and dang those indices looks really really huge this is a very very legible watch right so but the only thing that i have to criticize 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 crit i have to critic on this particular watch is that these out sorry the minute hands is a bit too short in my opinion if they just add a little maybe at about one millimeters or even 0 0.5 millimeters it would look much much more accurate because i prefer my minute hands to be almost touching the um the minute marker so in this case it is not and yeah but still it is very legible but yeah still if they can improve that in the future i don't know so the hour markers is sorry the hour hands is typical um seiko hour hands which is very very legible no issues whatsoever and that beautifully finish um second hands with that very very long red tip uh, adds to the fine touch right so of course you're not gonna you're not gonna get any hot orology type of finishing of course if i go for a macro lens i don't have any but still if i go using a loop there will be some you know unfinished uh, on the hands and everything but yeah this is a seiko after all right so let's talk about the case right so it features this fully brushed uh, not really fully brushed sorry brush angular case finishing right so with almost everything is in brush finishing with that drill lux here and on this side we have this polish bits here which yeah tends to get scratches really really easily if you are not careful with your watch right so drill lux easy swap that's uh, changing out straps and in this case i put it on this um natural rubber strap from borealis watch co which for me is the best out there the best in the business right so the crown okay the crown is quite unique right so you see that it is um this bezel is actually protruding out quite a bit right so yeah just maybe half mil from the case sides from the case side you can see that this case is actually um slanted in inwards right so because of the bezel is protruding a bit so when you unscrew the crown you can't pull it you can't pull it but still normally i would i would put my fingernail and put it inside the crown but now i can't do it i have to use my index finger uh, index fingernail and pull it from the bottom right so yeah that is a bit different compared to other seikos that <laughs> i'm used to so screwing it back is okay no issues whatsoever it is using the um 4R35 movement that you guys know it's already a very very uh, reliable movement that is in the being used not only in Seiko's but other tons of other micro brand and also Chinese brands right so at the back we have the um, brush finishing on this on the center here and polish finishing on the outer side of the case full of the uh, screw down case back um, air divers 200 meter seiko special edition this is not a limited edition and yeah but still a very very nice uh, expensive looking case back with that um, hokusai wave pattern at the bottom so at the center all right so what else yeah the loom the loom is a bit special on this one guys so i'm going to be charging it a bit so let's see if we can give it a quick charge and oh so sorry about that Ooh, so sorry let's find the lamp boom and yep you can see that we've got blue um seiko lumi bright on the indices our hands and also second hands but on the minute hands and the loom pip the lumi bright use is the green so very very nicely done there seiko awesome looking um loom in my opinion right so okay so let's put it on my 6.75 inch wrist but before we do that let's do a quick wristwatch check today i am wearing this Eastern uh doxa plus synchron military homage watch so awesome awesome watch i've done an initial review for this particular piece but uh, you know what i am going to be doing a full review soon so please do stay tuned right so hmm how about that guys so this is 44 millimeters this one is 43 uh, still this one looks smaller because of the shorter lug to the of 45 millimeters right so this one is 48 so yeah okay let me see if i can do this in one go without having to stop the video and etc etc and i am on the third hole and we're just gonna put it like so and boom we are good to go all right so this is how it looks on my 6.75 inch so you can see that um yeah 
I don't know guys, this square-ish looking uh, samurai made it, made it look a bit bigger on my wrist so yeah I think yeah I I don't know I think I would not buy a Seiko Samurai so yeah this is thank you very much Juan because <laughs> you saved me a lot of money <laughs> by borrowing me one of your watches right so anyway what do you guys think of the Seiko Samurai so is it worth the money is it um, you know is it uh, how do if you guys own one so please do let me know about your users experience in the comment section below right so of course I would have for the money that uh, that this is going for I think it would be much much more sensible if you go for the uh, Seiko King uh, Samurai because it has that ceramic bezel insert and it has that uh, sapphire crystal this one is using hard light crystal which in time will definitely scratch if you guys are not uh, careful enough such as me myself and yeah I've put quite a lot of scratches and dings on my um, Seiko Monster 2nd gen but I don't really mind it because yeah it is my watch so yeah it doesn't really matter so yeah anyway so if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time I'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye